learn how to host your Streamlit apps on Streamlit Cloud. It's a free service where you are able to host public or private apps and share it with the user. It's a great service which allows you to quickly build apps, have a URL that you can share with people and they can interact and play with the apps. The way Streamlit Cloud works is it uses GitHub as the repository for code. So whatever you have on GitHub, the app will they'll take that and host it on their service and your app will get published there. So the first step we want to do is we want to upload the app to GitHub. The app that we want to host is this app we call Route Finder. We already built the app. We'll go through the process of how, how you can deploy that. The app takes two origin and destinations, selects the travel mode, and you can get directions. Pretty useful app. This using this is open route service API. We are in our app. If you see the app.py, we have the API key inside the app. And if you upload the file to GitHub, everybody who can see the GitHub file can see your API key. It's a bad idea to put your API keys in the public. There are spammers who would take that and you know use the resources. Also, if you share it, even in the, within your organization, sharing API keys openly is a bad idea. So we learned how to hide those API keys in your app. Plus we are, let's say in our app, we are using some component, we are using stream portfolio or we are using a library called GeoPy, or if you want GeoPandas. How do I install all of this? In our local environment, we can just say, you know, Conda install or pip install and everything installs. How do I install stuff on the environment that Streamlit is going to run? So we're going to we need to know, learn about two extra things. First, how to add your dependencies to the app and how to hide the secrets. And once we do this, we'll go through the publishing workflow. Let's see the app that we have hosted. This is a repository for this class. The app that we want to host is here on the Streamlit directory. We have all the code for all the apps available here in case you want to check it out. We are going to host this uh, route finder. Along with your app.py, you can add this file called requirements.txt. This is a st standard Python file. You can write the packages that you want to be installed and when Streamlit tries to host your app, it'll first create a new environment, install all these libraries, and then run your app. So this is useful when you want to install some stuff, and you, this is a way to tell Streamlit that what are your dependencies. This format of the file, if you want to know, there are many different options you can specify. This is a standard Python thing. Just go search for requirements.txt, and you have the format there. Essentially, it's one package per line. You can also mention specific version of that. So you say, I want to use GeoPandas version V10, V.10, and you can specify that. Just one package per line, and you put this file alongside your app.py. So that's the first step. Whatever you had, you can put that here. Second thing, we want to replace our API keys with Streamlit secrets. So I'll show you my app.py. Here, our workflow was that we were hard coding our API key in an app so far. So when you're developing, you would have hard coded that. Just before you upload that, you say, I don't want to put this here. I will say st.secrets and give it a name. So st.secrets is a dictionary. It's a Python dictionary. You can put any key and store a value there. So you say, this app needs a secret named ORS API key. And you upload that. So my code is available publicly, but you don't see my API key. It's st.secrets. I will define what is the st.secret when I upload the app. And that is available only to me when I go to my dashboard. Nobody else can see that, right? So this is a way to hide any data. So if you are using some database connection, you want to hide the database URL, password, username, those all are secrets that you want to hide. So two things, we added a requirements.txt. We had our API key that we replaced with the secrets. And now we are ready to upload our app. We need to go to this website, share.streamlit.io. This requires an account. The easiest way is to connect your GitHub accounts. You anyway need a GitHub account to publish apps on Streamlit. So once you have you know, created your GitHub, GitHub account and uploaded your files there, you come to share.streamlit, connect your GitHub account, and you have your account here. You can have in a repository, this is called a repository. Inside a repository, you can have multiple folders with multiple apps. You just need one app per folder. So don't mix folders for different apps, but you can have different apps for different folders in the same repository. All you need to do is you need to find the URL to app.py. So I have this URL and this indicates, this indicates the location 
where my app got pie is. It says, what's the repository? What's the app got pie and so on. To host any app, you need admin access to the repository. So it should be your repository. So if you try this with my repository, it'll fail, right? So don't do this. I'll show you how to do this. Copy this and do this on your own account. So we copy the URL to app.py. We come here and we say, I want to create an app. So when you go to shared or streamlit IO, you'll create your dashboard. The first time you do this, it'll be empty, but we can click create app. It's gonna ask you, do you already have an app or you want to create one from template? This allows you to edit the data in the cloud versus you editing locally, but we already have an app, we built it. So we click here, it says, give me the URL. Once I have pasted my app.py location, it allows me to pick the app name. It assigns some random name to this. So my app will be hosted at this sub domain dot app. I can change it. I can just do something like this. My first app dot It has to be unique across this thing. So whatever your name you want to choose, you can choose this. Once it's done, don't hit deploy yet. If you deploy it, our app will fail. We don't have not defined what is our secret. So we come here to the advanced settings and it says, we have two configuration options, which Python version you want to use. If your code depends on a specific Python version, you can choose that. And here we have our secrets. So this is where we will define our secret and the secret will be in the following way. So remember in our code, we are saying st, .secret, st secret. this is the key and you just replace it with your actual API key here. And now when I click save, the secret is there, it's safe in our cloud. Nobody can see it, it's not public. And when the app is hosted, whenever the stream receives st.secret, at runtime, it's gonna replace it with the value that's stored in this secret database, and it's gonna run that. So now when I click deploy, it's gonna go and deploy the app. Once the deployment is done, you should see this in your My Apps section. The app, if you click on this link here in your app, it's going to take you to the live app. Whatever URL you've chosen, it's going to show that. It takes a few minutes to initialize a new container, we'll install all the packages and do this, and it'll be available here. There are a few controls available to you. One is if you made some changes to your app and push it to GitHub, it'll auto update, but if you wanna force a reboot, saying that something went wrong, I really want to reboot the app now, you can reboot it, you can delete it if you want to delete it. Analytics, you can get some idea of who's using your app and so on. And again, if you want to update any secrets, if you want to do that. Streamlit will put your app to sleep after two days of no activity. So if nobody visits your URL for 48 hours, Streamlit is not gonna keep the server running. It's gonna shut down the server and somebody goes to your app. It says, oh, this app is sleeping. Click here to wake it up. So your users will have to click that and wait for a minute for the app to be reloaded. So that's just to save resources since they are providing this as a free service. It's not going to keep running always. So the first step is you want to visit, first sign into your GitHub account, visit this repository. This is the Python database web repository. You want to make a copy of the entire repository to your GitHub account. That is called fork in GitHub terminology. So fork means you will take my code copy it over to your own repository. So go and find this fork button once you visit this repository and it's gonna ask you, what's the name of your fork? You can keep it the same way, same name, so you can identify that. The owner will be you, so your URL will change. This repository URL is special thought slash Python database web. Once you copy it and fork it to your own account, it'll be your username slash Python database web and you'll have admin access to that repository. So try this out first visit this repository and click the fork button that's at the top and then keep the name the same and click create fork. Once the fork is created in your repository, go and find this folder. It's inside streamlit route finder app.py. So this is your own copy of the app and you just need to copy the URL to this and this will be your account slash the deposit name and the app URL. And then go to stream share.streamlit.com. So go to Streamlit Cloud and go through the publishing workflow that we just shared. You have to go and replace the secrets just before you hit the deploy button, make sure you enter the secret thing. 
if you accidentally hit deploy, you can come back and edit the app and edit the settings and enter this key. So you need to have one line ORS API key in quotes, replace this value with your own API key and click save. Once you deploy it, you should have the link here and you can go and share that link.